This is how people in Gabon are getting ready for the court's verdict on the country's contested presidential election by stocking up on basic necessities. We're scared that after the final results are out, there may be more violence and looting and the country turns into a civil war. Rice, bread, milk and canned food are running out. Shops have shut down and people are taking as much cash out as possible. Gabon is on edge, uncertain about its future. People are very concerning about what is going on in this country because we don't, we don't exactly know what's, what is going to happen. So if the president is going to be relaxed or not, or there will be too many protesters on the street. And so we don't know exactly. In August, opposition leader Jean Ping declared himself the winner of the presidential race. The election commission says President Bongo won. The government insists they were free and fair elections and there was no rigging of ballots. Ping supporters believe they were robbed of their victory and took to the streets. Many were killed, hundreds injured, and thousands arrested after the parliament was burnt down. Ping appealed to the constitutional court, asking for a vote recount. As per Gabon's law, the ballot box were burnt. All there is left is the voting station tallies. Nine Supreme Court judges will give their final verdict after hearing both sides. Each accused the other of cheating. In the region of Otugwe, Bongo says he received 99.17% of the votes. And in several districts of the capital, Jean Ping says he received 100% of the votes. Their claim to the presidency is driving the country towards civil unrest. Paramilitary police are now patrolling the streets. The government says it wants to ensure that there will be no violence after the constitutional court gives its ruling. So they've deployed security forces across the country in the capital. And this security force, this patrol, is stationed just 100 meters away from Jean Ping's headquarters. Bongo's government say they will arrest Ping if there is more violence. Ping supporters believe Bongo is using the security services to impose his will. His supporters are angry, but most people are just scared, worried that the constitutional verdict may not bring peace after all. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Libreville.